Web Host Manager WHM. Now if you want to learn a bit more about this, this allows me to have a number of cPanels under one software program. So instead of going into separate cPanels, this Web Host Manager allows me to once again control a lot of cPanels under one software umbrella. So if you want to learn a bit about this, uh, it's also very good for SEO because you can separate your cPanels into different IP addresses and switch those IP addresses quite easily. So it's very good for keeping things under, under the cover or under the radar of the search engine. So once again, if you would like to know a bit more about that, please leave a comment in this video and I'll certainly get back to you and create a, another video. But this is really important if you, it's a little more advanced, but uh, certainly it's very important. So anyways, getting back here, you've got a file manager. You can look at your various domains. Now remember I pointed out public underbar HTML. That is the folder that all the add-on domains are stored under. You can see I've got quite a few domains there. And that's what makes a cPanel useful because you can actually control quite a few domains under one cPanel. The other thing I want to point out is this subdomains. So that's where you have, uh, just pick one music downloads for me okay that's one another one of my sites so you might want to have Dido okay so you might want to sell Dido I'm sorry that might not be your type of music but definitely you could have like a whole subdirectory just dedicated to that one music artist and so you can just create as many subdomains as, as you would like you can have a landing page selling download music so that's how you build your subdomains so just going back, there's uh, a lot of various things here. If you want to set up a domain and you want to have an email account associated to that domain, say I have Auto Accessory Worlds, that's another one of my sites. And what I want to do is have like, say I want to have sales associated to that. And I can just create a password, create the account. Okay, so what I have now is a sales at Auto Accessories world.com so what I can do is I can actually put that on my blog and I can say if you want to email me email sales at auto accessories world.com and that allows the sales uh, email to be associated with the domain name now sometimes you don't want to be using like Gmail Hotmail when you say want to promote your product you want to have your domain name as your email address so that's a very good way of doing that now what I'll show you is how to retrieve that email if anyone's using that particular email you've got webmail so you can come into your cPanel and you can log into your webmail but I have a better idea you can use this thing called forwarders and basically what this does is allows you to if you've got an email account that you use all the time like a gmail account and you have a whole bunch say you have 10 or 20 emails associated with your different domains what you can do is you can actually group those emails together and send them to your Gmail account through this forwarder so you can actually forward your emails that you've built um, and so you can collect all your emails in one place so if you have any questions uh, on that particular function just leave a comment and I'll get back to you on that it's not too hard to set up. One other thing is uh, this Fantastico Deluxe is, allows you to build blogs. So that's probably another video in its, uh, in its own right. Listen, my wife's just come home, so I've got to get off the video. It's been great talking to you. I know that's a funny excuse, but please visit seotoolsforyou.com and I'll be looking forward to seeing you in another video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.